and I'm getting ready to replace this uh, coolant reservoir on my 2004 F-250. Hopefully I can get this done before my battery on my GoPro goes dead. Um, there's my replacement. Uh, I've already taken the time to actually take the uh, coolant out of the reservoir using that pump right there. Just kind of siphoned it out into a five gallon bucket and let's see what I can do here. So I've already disconnected the bottom line um, of the coolant reservoir. So I have these two and I'll show you a tip that I use. I just use vice grips. Squeeze it, pull it over, See, those come off pretty easy. Put that there. I've actually already loosened these, but I'm going to use this to speed it up. Really don't like using power tools on hardware. But since it's already loose, and I believe that should be it. it slides right out. There you go. Oops. And there you can see that's the factory. I purchased this one not from the dealer but from uh, Rock Auto. And the only difference I can see here is that this has a Max and Men. This one here just it's got a sticker for Max and Men, but it does have a little uh, little mark here on the tank itself to show you where the minimum mark is but up here it looks like this should be where the max is so I kind of made sure that um, the stickers there so when I put it back on it looks okay you can see this one's got a metal insert inside this bottom piece as well as this one which this one's even dented and you can see on this reservoir it's actually been leaking so, let's see, mm, Ford Motor Company, I believe this one says it was made in Taiwan, 603-217, and we'll try it out, see how it works, and I'll keep you updated on the website if I have any issues with it or if it begins to leak or anything like that. You can see back in there, there's a little tab where this goes. We'll cut out. Looks like that's about it. I always like to hand start my fasteners versus trying to use a power tool. That way you verify you don't cross cross thread the the threads, damage the the fastener itself. Put this hose back on. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. Put this one on. See, nice and clean inside. Comes with a new cap. This bottom one. A little hard to get to on a truck with a eight inch lift.
pretend I have to do this blind. So you might not be able to see on the camera. This one's a little tougher to get to. I was able to loosen it without taking anything else off. Or at least remove this. Let's try. Let's see if I can try the smaller. here See if maybe I can pinch it. Before I slide it on, yeah, it seemed like it was much easier to pinch before I slid it over that connector. There you have it. You've got the bottom one on. I've got both the top, two hoses, tank secure, I'm ready to fill it up. And I'll probably add a little bit to it, uh, close to the minimum level, let it run, so I can kind of burp the system. Make sure that all the air is out of the, out of, uh, the lines here, because it'll probably go down, the level will go down. So, and I pretty much, since I pumped it out, I pretty much know how much liquid I had in my reservoir. So, I and mean, I know I lost a little bit, probably less than a quart on the ground. So I have to add a little bit of coolant. But I'll let you know on the status of this, uh, this reservoir. It was actually pretty cheap at rockauto.com compared to buying one at the dealership. And actually, I like that this one's more of a, a clear color. I don't know. I don't remember if the factory was clear or if it was that this this color here, which I don't know. You can't really even see through it. So, all right. Thank you very much. I'm going to fill this up. The rest. I think you probably know already know how to do that. So, thank you for watching. I hope it helps if you have to replace your uh, coolant reservoir on your Ford. This is a Ford F250 with a 6.0 diesel. Right, thank you.